in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, if you want to be peaceful, successful, gain the love of Allah and the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and gain the love of mankind in general, irda bima qasamahu Allahu lak, be pleased with whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. Wa in ta'uddu ni'imati Allahi la tuhsuha, and if you are to count, enumerate the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon you, you would not be able to do so. Be satisfied with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. Give thanks to him so that you can have ma. La in shakartum la azidannakum wa la in kafartum inna adhabi la shadid. If you praise me and glorify me for what I have given you, I'm going to give you ma. Wala in kafartum, and if you are to be ungrateful to me, inna adhabi la shadid. Verily, my punishment is very severe. Waman kana hammuhu dunya ja'ala Allahu al faqra bayna aynayhi. And whoever makes this dunya, this worldly matters, to be his utmost aim in life, ja'ala Allahu al faqra bayna aynayhi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would place poverty right before his eyes he would be always afraid of poverty he will always run after this dunya and what it contains and forget about the akhirah waman kana hamuhu al akhirah and whoever makes his aim to be the hereafter allah is going to make him to be satisfied allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make him to be satisfied with whatever he has in this world and also grant him Sussex in the life to come. Man kana yuridu la'ajila ta'ajjalna lahu ma nasha'u liman nurid. Whoever wishes for this dunya, hasting for this dunya, we are going to give him what we wish. Wa man kana yuridu la'akhirata wa sa'a laha sa'yaha wa huwa mu'minun. And whoever wants the year after and make effort to achieve it, Allah will accept his effort in this world and grant him success in the life to come. Richness is not to have heap of gold, heap of silver, or bunch of money in the bank. Richness in the sight of Allah is self-satisfaction. To be satisfied, contented with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. You will have peace of mind when you are pleased with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. Even the rich will not taste what you experience. They will not have what you have and that is tranquility. Put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah said, subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلَ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُ And whoever put his trust upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will surely suffice him. Prophet Muhammad, may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said, ذَاقَ طَعْمَ الْإِيمَانِ مَنْ رَضِيَ بِاللَّهِ رَبَّ وَبِالْإِسْلَامِ دِينَ وَبِمُحَمَّدِ النَّبِيَّ وَرَسُولًا he will surely taste the sweetness of faith. Whoever is pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rabban, to be his Lord, to be his creator, his cherisher, the one that provides for him, and put his trust upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Wabil Islam Idina, and is pleased with Islam to be his religion, Wabi Muhammad Nabiya wa Rasula, and is also pleased with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to be his messenger and prophet. And finally, Al-Islam is peace and the only source to peace.